Okay, we're almost ready to create a service plan, but we still need to do one more thing. It is to add a system currency. We require that for all the financial operations. To add a system currency, go to the Currencies page. Click plus to add a currency. Then select the currency you want to add and click Add. OK, now we are ready to create a service plan. Go to the Service Plans page. Click Plus to create a new service plan. Enter the service plan's name. And it is a good idea to set its state to being edited. This way, no other manager will be able to attach this plan to a customer while you edit it. And you can also add some comments to this service plan. When finished, click Create. Now let's add some services. Click Add Service. Select TV channels. And here you can see that we can add a group of channels or we can add TV channels individually. Let's add a group of channels. Set the price. The prepayment for setting determines when the customer will be charged for the services. The accounting period option means that the customer will be charged at the beginning of every accounting period. That's the first day of every month. Daily prepayment means that the price is divided by the number of days in an accounting period. And the customer is charged for that amount daily. Monthly prepayment means that the customer is first charged when the service plan is attached and then on the same day every month. For example, if we attach a service plan on February 19th, the next time the customer will be charged on March 19th. Let's also make the service blockable, which means that if the customer's personal account runs out of money, the customer won't be able to watch TV channels and won't be charged for this service. Click Save. OK, let's add another service. Click Add Service, select Movies. Here we also can add a group of movies or movies individually. So let's add a group of movies. Set the price. And as you can see, there are no periodic payment options. That's because movies can only be rent for a day. So click Save. OK, now the service plan is almost ready to be attached to a customer. But as you can remember, we changed its state to being edited. So we need to change it again to active to be able to attach it to a customer. So click the Edit icon. Change the plan state and click Save. OK, we successfully created a service plan.